Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one by myself. And welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Last time we finished up our visit to Traverse Town, got some more goodies, fought Leon, demolished him, learned some exposition, and then we fought the guard armor and met up with our duck boy and our dog boy. Well, the trio is formed. Very cool. And now that the trio is formed, a lot of stuff has opened up. First off, uh, need to put this on immediately. Immediately. Dodge roll. I love dodge roll, my beloved. We did get treasure magnets, and that um, sucks in all the money and HP stuff. Don't have enough AP though, so we're just gonna have to wait till we get more of that. Donald has no abilities right now. Goofy, however, has Rocket and Jackpot. Rocket is a move, Jackpot makes more stuff appear in battle. Very good. And now here's here's the thing. Okay, L1 triangle fire. Here's the thing. You know all those memes about Donald not healing you and all that? Every single one of those people, they ain't, they ain't touching the customized menu. This is, this is where you do it. If you go to Donald, you can have a whole bunch of different play styles. Mm-hmm. So, you go to manual, you can change how much they do stuff. It, there you go. There's the secret. It's literally just a menu you do. So, Goofy, uh, constantly do regular attacks, frequently do special attacks. Shield techniques, um, constantly. Support actions, frequently HP items, only in emergency. MP items, frequently. I think that is good for him. So now let's go to Donald. Regular attacks, uh, occasionally, I guess frequently. Offensive magic constantly, defensive magic, occasionally. Advanced magic, I'm gonna guess that's his like supers, his abilities, I guess frequently. HP items, only emergency, MP items, frequently. That should be good for them. All right. Uh, we did get a new thing. We got the Brave Warrior, which is strength up and HP up. So we wanna put that on. And let's put our other protect chain. Donald has five. Goofy has nine, so we're gonna put that on Donald. Donald has the Mage's Staff, pretty cool. And Goofy has the Knight's Shield. All right, there's all that. Gotta put that in there. I'll, I'll give them items just, just so they can have them and sometimes use them maybe. Oh, uh, we got some gummy blocks now. Those will be explained later. And we now have Jemini's Journal, which if you're going for 100%, you wanna look at this thing often, because this is where all your stuff will be. But right now we only have Chronicles, Sora's Story, and uh, characters, which is characters. I'll, I'll read the stuff as we get them. Shouldn't take too long. Sora, a boy born and raised on an island, dreamed of seeing the outside world. He and his friends Riku and Kairi began building a raft with which to sail away. One day, Sora ventured into the island's secret cave and met a stranger who had come from beyond the door. 
That night, disaster struck Sora's island. Riku and Kairi disappeared, and Sora was left with a mysterious weapon. With it, he defeated monsters that had suddenly appeared everywhere, spawned from an enormous sphere of darkness. But the darkness swallowed the island. Meanwhile, Disney Castle was in an uproar. King Mickey had vanished, leaving only a note behind. With the sole clue, Donald and Goofy set out to find him. Somehow, Sora ended up in a place called Traverse Town, where he met Leon, Aerith, and Yuffie, and learned about the Heartless, the means of darkness, and the secret behind his weapon, the Keyblade. It is the key to unlocking some great power. Before long, Sora also met Donald and Goofy, who were looking for Leon, and joined forces with them. So, Sora's story is going to be like our main plot, and then it's going to fill up with plots of each individual world. Now we got characters, we got Swara. There's, there's him. I'm not going to read the bios, I'm just going to click on all these so they don't say new anymore. Because that's one of my peeves with games and some playthroughs. If you have something that says new in the menu, please, please just check it. Also, here's something. We can't look at Mickey right now. Hmm. Also, he made his debut in Steamboat Willie, 1928. That says uh, for all the Disney people. It says their, their debut, too. Pretty cool. And some even have multiple pages, if they're, uh, what's the word? I depth? In depth enough? If they have a lot of depth? Hmm. We have somehow met a lot of people already. Oh, uh, we have Plot Dog. You will, you will see why he is Plot Dog. We got Chip and Dale. The Duck, the Duck Boys. For some reason, the Brooms are a character? Um, I don't think they have sentience, but somehow they're a character. We got Leon. Actually, let me, let me read this. A swordsman who wields the gun blade. His real name, Squall Leonhart. He escaped to Traverse Town when the Heartless raided his home world. To part with his old self, a man who had been helpless to stop them, he changed his name. Since beating the king, who has been so vigilant against the Heartless, Leona sought the truth behind the key. Final Fantasy VIII. Okay. So it's like some angsty thing, like, I couldn't, I couldn't stop the Heartless. I, I don't deserve to be Squall anymore. I'm Leon. Okay, you angsty man. Uh, we got Yuffie. She's a ninja. We got Aerith. She lost her home to the Heartless at a very young age. I... Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Uh, we got Sid. Sid, pretty cool. He escaped to Traverse Town on a gummy ship he built himself. He is an expert on gummy ships. We don't know that yet, but I guess the journal has spoilers. And then we get uh, them three. N nobody knows what happened to them after the island disappeared. They're dead. I'm pretty sure right now they're dead. And Moogles. Mooga Magoo. All right. Uh, we got Jemini. That's me. The cricket who keeps Pinocchio to the straight and narrow. There is our boy. And we got a nice section on the Heartless. We got shadows. We got soldiers. And this is cool. It tells you how many there are and how many of each Heartless you've killed. Pretty cool. And then all the way back, back here, we got our bosses. We got Dark Side and Guard Armor. Very cool, very cool. So it doesn't tell you how many characters there are, but it tells you how many Heartless there are. And that's all we got for the journal right now. That will be filled quite a bit over the course of the game.
All right. So now that I'm done talking. Oh, yes. 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 Dodge roll, my beloved. Uh, what's this thing? This blue thing? Hey, look at this mark. I wonder what it is. This is a trinity mark. They appear in many places. Only the blue ones react in the beginning. Sora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various trinity marks. Moves beside these marks. So, if you have the color unlocked, right now we only have blue. You go up to it, trinity. And the blue one right now is just a jump. And this one uh, showers us with goodies. Very cool. So they're just like another type of collectible, which, and they should now be... Yes, they are now in the journal. There are 17 Trinity jumps. So be on the lookout for those and the future Trinities. Uh, like this one right here. This one does not shower us though. It teleports us up here. Wild. Now make sure, don't jump off yet before you get the chest. Because I'm, I think if you don't get this chest, I'm not sure if there's a way for you to get back on this ledge. So get the chest for a postcard. Very cool. Uh, what's up guys? What are you talking about? How's it going guys? We haven't left yet. We literally just saw you. I hope you find your friends. There are Dalmatians named Pongo and Perdita living in the second district. Yeah? What's wrong? They're quite upset, these Dalmatians. They've lost their puppies. Squall, Squall can't stop worrying about them. Call me Leon. Sora, would you look for the puppies? Help them out. We, we know. We talked to them before. And then, old boy. I don't believe... Yeah, we will get a Dalmatian list, but we don't have it yet. We need to find some first. All right, let's turn in this postcard for Mithril. We're already at five. Very cool. And now... There are some more stuff we can do, so let's go exploring. Because now is the proper time. After you defeat a world's boss, before you leave, it is in the state of uh, no enemies will appear. So make use of that while you can. And be ready for literally millions of dodge rolls. We can go in the vacant house. But as it says, it's a vacant house. There's nothing in here. At least not right now. All right, now we can actually explore this area now that the boss is dead. So let's go, let's go looking around. First, you want to interact with this, unlock that door, because that door is this door. So now we have a quick way to the third district. And also, these people are back. Didn't you die? This town has grown as people have lost their home worlds and come here. It's easy to get lost in such a big sprawling place. This may be the same thing they were saying. Oh. Say, are you the one who beat that giant armor thing? No kidding. That's so cool. Thanks, not Titus. Yeah, where am I from? None of your business. Yeah, yeah, we know her. A uh, big man has moved it down here. You can find whatever items you need at the nephew's shop. Yeah? All right, uh, is there anyone else? Shouldn't be. So, let's go back to the third district. Because it, there are things we can get here. Such as... Um, this thing right here. Remember that. We can go up here for another trinity. Yoink. And this one has some more money and some stuff. Camping set. 
what does the camping set do? I'm pretty sure I've never used one in the entirety of playing these games. Restores all HP and 3 MP of each party member, can only be used from the menu. Well, that's why I never use it. Can only be used from the menu. That's never useful. Right. Got a nice Lady and the Tramp reference right there. They never show up, but it's cool that they have a little reference. All right, and there is one more thing we can do. You see this door. You see this door? Currently closed off. It's emblazoned with a stylish flame. Well, you can lock onto it. And we did just get fire. Fire! Ugh. And now the door's open. And we can go to the mystical house. Mmm. Okay. Now platforming. You have to land on these things, because you can't swim over there. And they do move, so just pay attention to where they move. But we've made it. Can't go in the front way, but there is a back way. Now, can't get to that chest. Can't get to that chest. We need a yellow trinity. So, there's that stuff. Let's go in the house. Empty room. There's something about this musty place. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? The man's losing it. He's losing it. And now, <clears throat> well, well, you've arrived sooner than I expected. What, you knew we were coming? Of course. Are you a heartless? It doesn't look like one. Oh my, no. My name is Merlin. As you can see, I am a sorcerer. I spend much of my time traveling. It's good to be home. Your king has requested my help. King Mickey? Yes, indeed. Donald, Goofy, and who might you be, young man? I'm Sora. Ah, so you found the key. What did the king ask you to do? Just a moment. Let Merlin do his wizard things. Presto! Very cool, very cool. He, he packs all his furniture for some reason. And now it's fully furnished. There now. Ahem. Your king asked me to train you in the art of magic. We can start anytime you like. Let me know when you're ready to begin the training. Oh, and one more thing. He's got a... another friend. Hello, I'm the Fairy Godmother. Your king asked me to help too. I will assist throughout your journey. I do not know how much I can be of help, but do stop by any time. So now we got our magic friends. Also a weird thing. Um... Where is it? This trinity only shows up when he furnishes it. So, got another one right there. Boink. With a mega ether. Mmm. Mm, nice. And some more money. Can never go wrong with money. Alright. And we got a nice save point. Let me just use that real quick. So he does say training, it's not 
really training? Let me just, uh... uh Donald, move out the way, you duck. Yes? If you come here, it's like another room at the top. You can practice casting spells here without depleting MP. Let's have uh, moving targets. Off we go. And you can fight his furniture. They don't hit you. There's nothing to get from doing this, but you can just uh, practice all your magic and your MP just automatically regenerates. So you can keep using it as much as you like. So fire is literally just a gun. A pretty good gun. And each MP bar will have two uses. You use it once and then a, a orange bar appears. You use the orange bar and then the other orange bar and then boink and then boink, boink like that. All right. And that's that's basically it here. No, nothing else, nothing else here. So we go back. As for the fairy godmother, let's summon her. I'm so worried about Cinderella. Well, Cinderella's not here. She is not useful right now. We need specific items, and then when we get said items, we can come talk to her. So just remember that. All right. And they should be added to the journal. So there's that. Merlin and the Fairy Godmother. All right. Now, here's something. This is Merlin's house, but Merlin first tutored Arthur. So Sword in the Stone World has to exist, right? It's never mentioned if there's a Sword in the Stone world. So, don't know about that. But just a, just a thing to, to know. Alright. I think... Ah, damn. That's fine. Also, when you're swimming, you press circle to do a little, little kick. I think that is everything we can get here at the moment. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. Let me, uh, yeah. Let me go see if I can't buy some stuff. That's it, oh, yep, here's also a thing you can do. Doesn't do anything, but there's a save point right here which refills you, so. You know, just a thing you can do. Though, Sid? What do you have? A uh, protect chain, fire ring, blizzard ring, thunder ring, ability stud, obsidian ring. So these have some elemental resistance and defense. This has dark resistance and strength. And then this raises AP. I want that. Give me that. Don't think we need any of these other things at the moment. So let me go ahead and put that on real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let me let me do that. Now that we have that, we can go here. I'm not gonna get myself a nice little treasure magnet. Mm -hmm. Yummy. All right. Oh, I... Every time, every time you play the game, there's something new. I've never, ever looked into these. It's got some, like, necklaces and stuff. And there's a, there's a crown in this one. Sid, sell, sell me that. I want that. Literally, every time you play the game, something you never noticed. It's nuts how much is in this game. 
Uh, okay. Let me go to the item shop. Yes, now we have new weapons for the boys. I believe I'm gonna try to get all of their weapons. I think there's a trophy for that. In this one, maybe. I'm gonna try to get all of them. It's mainly just buying a whole lot of them. And as you can see, it gets pretty expensive. So right now, let me just see which ones are best. Morningstar, a staff that heightens magic power, Warhammer, hammer made for combat, reduces MP by one. Obviously, Donald should not have a combat weapon. He should have a magic weapon. Smasher, a shield made for attack rather than defense. Stout shield, a large shield that protects against various attacks. Well, Goofy already has uh, the highest defense out of us. So let's get him the Smasher. Cause you know that Goof loves to smash. <laughs> and cool thing about all the weapons, they look different. So there's the Morning Star. Literally just another strength. Straight upgrade. And Goof, Smasher, literally two more strength. A straight upgrade. There you go. Borsh. Uh, we, we sing it. I start has all sorts of stuff for sale. Yeah. Uh, let me go talk to Sid, actually. Let's see what he says. Now that the thing is done. Things have disappeared from the shop recently. And these weird noises I keep hearing. Man. That will be explained later. Now I believe I am truly done with Traverse Town. I think we can leave. Alright. Into the unknown. The green cursor shows your current position. Select your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. More stars mean stronger heartless in that world. And that's true. So you can see we're at Traverse Town. This is our whole world map. Pretty cool. Disney Castle is there. You never go to it though. Don't know why it's on the map. And we have our selection from two. We have battle level one and battle level two. And also, if we click triangle, gummy ship missions. Destroy enemy ships and obstacles, collect items, and save your score when you arrive at your destination. Complete a mission by fulfilling its requirements. Use a triangle button to view mission details. Uh, destroy enemies and blocks for one point, collect an item for one point. Destroy blue meteors for items. Build a gummy ship tailored for each mission. Each world has three missions. Challenge yourself to earn a high score. Modify gummy ships to readily complete missions. So... Each world has three gummy ship missions. Now there's the regular gummy route that you go to go to the next world. But then there's three missions you can do while also doing that. So for right now, of course, we've only have Traverse Town, and its is to obtain a score of 80 or higher. But that's for when you're going to the world, not when you're coming from it. So we have to go to one of these in order to even attempt a gummy ship mission for this yet. Uh, 80 or higher, that shouldn't be a problem at all. And if we press square, the gummy garage. Let me go ahead and see the tutorial. Let me just, let me just see. I don't know if I've ever gone through the tutorial. Let's build a gummy ship by following a blueprint. To build a gummy ship, select garage. To fly different ships or rename them, select gummy ship. Now let's take a tour of the garage. First, pick a blueprint. The list contains blueprints you've collected and those you can redesign. 
you get most of your blueprints from enemy ships. I think every enemy ship has its own blueprint. The blueprints you collect can't be renamed. Make sure you have enough parts. In select mode, select the block you want to attach. Without a cockpit and engine, a ship cannot fly. So no matter what, you need a cockpit and an engine. You can change the class of parts, and you can change what part in said class. Found your block? Then press the X button on the R1 button to go to build mode. And then you can, you know, put where the block is. You can rotate it. You can move it up layers. It's, it's quite a bit. Uh-huh. Right stick rotates the whole area. You can put the block. You may not be able to attach big blocks at times. You can circle to get rid of it. Touchpad has, has all that. Inspect mode. You can just look at it. You can have all that, all the stats. So yeah, there's, and then even even more of that. Gummy ship building. It can be quite in depth. Mo you, usual players would not go in depth into the gummy garage. I am not usual players. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to try to finish all the gummy missions. I've never done it before. I'm gonna try, though. Mm. So, yeah. But also, this is called Terra, because that's what Two wanted to name the ship. And since I beat Riku in the race the first time this time, it's now named that. The blocks used, is it flyable? E you would hope that each of your, of your ships would be at least flyable. Can it transform? Can it warp? And does it have a shield? And then its speed and its armor. I don't think we have... Yeah. The only blocks we have are these. And they're already on the ship, so... Can't do anything with it at the moment. Yeah, we only have that amount of stuff. Okay, I think that's everything. Only thing ne left to do is to go to a new world. Next time! <laughs> yes, you will see which one we pick next time. You will see. Will it be the one star? Will it be the two star? You'll see. I've been player one. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye.